Good morning everyone, I hope you're all well. Today is Wednesday the 6th of March and I am in the kitchen as you can see but I'm not emptying the dishwasher, I've already done that. I've emptied the dishwasher, sorted the washing, you might hear the washing, eh, the tumble dryer in the background. Um, Brooke's away to school, Jack's just dropped Abby at work and he's going to the gym. So all of that stuff is done. I am now going to do a job that I really don't like and that is peeling my hard boiled eggs. I really don't like it. So I thought I would chat to you while I was doing it. The reason that I'm doing it is for going out today. Oh, oh dear. I just squashed it. <laughs> I'm so bad in the kitchen. Oh, I need to put my glasses on. How bad is that? I'm making myself a packed lunch because the plan originally, <laughs> it's a bit of a long story. Um, my mum has an appointment just outside Glasgow this morning at nine o'clock and my dad was going to take her to her appointment and then take her through to Falkirk because she goes through to Falkirk on a Wednesday anyway for her dancing. And then something came up and my dad didn't think he was going to be able to make it. So we said, look, we'll take you. It's not a problem. I hate peeling the little, like, I don't know what it is. It's like a membrane layer of eggs. Anyway, but then my dad became free again. So he's like, oh, I'll take her. And I'm like, are you sure? Because Jack knows he's way around Glasgow, no problem. My dad isn't very confident driving in the city and he doesn't know it that well. And uh, he was like, yeah, yeah, it's fine. I'm happy to do it because there's a couple of things I want to do through in Falkirk anyway. And I was like, right, okay, no bother. Um, <laughs> and to be honest, my mum just messaged me to say that she wished that we had taken her because there'd been an accident on the motorway, so they're not going to make it to her appointment in time. Whereas if it had been Jack driving, he would have known other ways to go. But hey-ho. Anyway, but we had actually been really looking forward to getting the run because, oh, 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 God, that bit egg white's falling off now. Um, we really enjoyed it last week when we went up north up north we went sort of northeast from where we are and uh, you seem to enjoy it as well so i was really looking forward to the wee run again when i say run i mean drive it's it, i don't know if it's just a scottish thing or what but anyway uh so it was only yesterday that we realized we weren't taking her and i went oh and jack went do you want to still go out or drive and i went yeah why not because it's so good to get out and about and it doesn't really cost much other than diesel. You know, we're taking our own lunch. We can't go out for lunch anywhere anyway when we've got the dogs. Yeah, there are dog-friendly places, but not that will take five rowdy dogs. Yeah. Yes, perfect example, Clyde. Thank you. I'm going to have to take this bit egg white off. It's annoying me. Look at this. <laughs> Put it in my wee box. He said, right, let's still go out. He said, I've often always wanted to go to Tyne Buish. And I'm like, where? <laughs> and he went, Ten Bush. And I went, okay, no idea where that is. So I looked into it and it's on the Cowell Peninsula, which is directly opposite us. Um, it's over where Dunoon is. You might have heard of Dunoon. So I've only been to the Cowell Peninsula maybe three times, I think. Um, so it will be nice to go and... Apparently this wee village has had all sorts of awards and things and that's why Jack's always wanted to go. So it's a good place to go. So that's the plan for today. The weather isn't great, but it doesn't have to be. Um, we're in the car. We will take the dog. Well, I said to him, right, if we're going, I want to try and get the fly up and running. For anyone who's new here, the fly is an attachment. It's called a firefly and it's an attachment for your wheelchair that basically it's an electric and it means that I can go like over quite rough terrain places that a normal electric wheelchair or like mobility scooter wouldn't get you and it has been absolutely amazing it's because of that that I've managed to do like the marshalling at Canny Cross and things like that so but the last time we were away at Canny Cross it kept the battery was discharging quite quickly so we thought well, maybe there's something wrong with the battery but anyway I said well can we try it 
So we got the battery out last night and charged it up and it charged no bother. And um, so this morning, <clears throat> Jack went to put the whole thing in the car and he went, it's not the battery, it's the actual fly itself. And I went, no, um, because the battery's full and it's not switching on, it's not doing anything. And I was like, <laughs> so not happy. We're going to have to figure something else out because that's my freedom. See, when we're out with the dogs, I can't go out even just a walk with the dog, with Jack and the dogs, without it because it's way too far for me to manually be on myself. I get tired within five minutes. Um, and it's going to be a problem for Cami Cross and things like that as well. So we thought we might need to get a new battery, which was one thing, but getting a whole new either Firefly or something similar is going to be extortionate. So... I don't know. But anyway, we're still going out today and it's going to be fun. But I did want to be prepared this time and take myself food. Oh, that's a tumble dryer finished. I wanted to be prepared and take myself food because I won't, I don't eat anything until sort of 12, 1 o'clock. Um, and we'll be away by that time. We're going as soon as Jack's back from the gym. And I think this time as well, we've got Brooke sorted after school. So we don't need to worry about getting back for Brooke. That's all organised. And um, the dogs were going to take snacks for them, like their dentist sticks or something, to keep them going because they're usually fed at half two, quarter to three, something like that. Um, and they were starving by the time we got in the last time. So, yeah, we're going to be organised. My lunch, I'll show you in a wee minute, is part of my healthy lifestyle. I am now on day 10. Am I? Eight, nine. Yeah, day 10 I'm on. It feels like 10 weeks, not 10 days, but I'm still doing good. I have stuck to it 100% and I'm not weighing myself. And I'm not going to weigh myself until after the 30 days. I think I've already said that, but I can already feel my clothes getting looser, which is an absolute major breakthrough. That's what I'm looking for. That kind of off-scale victory, that, and I'm feeling motivated, a lot more motivated that, you know, I don't know how to explain it. I would say I've got a wee bit more energy, but for me, that's not saying much because, you know, I'm never going to have the energy of a normal person because I'm a chronic fatigue. But I'd say I've got a bit more energy and a bit more motivation to do things, which is brilliant. It's definitely given me a better mental headspace. So I'm really enjoying it. Don't get me wrong, I'm still having really bad sweet cravings. Um, and... Yeah, that, that is tough. But I'll get over it. I know I'll get over it. I just need to stick to my guns and do what I do. So, yeah, I'm really happy with that. Jack's um, lost quite a bit of weight as well since last week. So, yeah, the two of us kind of... We're not doing it together because we're doing to, two totally different lifestyle choice, eating plan type thing. But the fact that we're both trying to be good is helpful. Although... Because Jack's a lot more active than me, he will sit down with the odd chocolate digestive, which is one of my favourites. And I'm like, stop it! Just stop it! <laughs> anyway, yeah, that's us. We are going out for the day and uh, Tenebuch is on the banks of Loch Kyle, I think. No, Kyle's a beaut. But I don't really know the, the area over there, so it will be interesting to see it all. And I don't know what the scenery will be like with it not being that great a day, but I'll try and take some scenery for you and put the place names and things on the video as well. A lot of you said that you liked uh, the fact that you could see what it was. Ten minutes of havering later. So this is what I've got. I've got a chicken thigh that I cooked up yesterday knowing that I was going to be going out today. I've got two of the Aldi cheddar sticks and I have got two boiled eggs. That one's not going to be in one piece. Well, it's already not in one piece, but I think the yolk will have burst by the time I get there. I like a really soft yolk in my egg. So yeah, I'm going to put salt on it and I've got other salt in the car. Well, that's what I'm taking and my sparkling water, of course. I'm hoping there's going to be more um, toilets available when <laughs> we're going this time than last time when I was desperate for a pee for about three hours um but yeah hopefully as we're in more sort of civilization if you like we're going to be in villages rather than out in the middle of nowhere so 
yeah, hopefully it'll be better. But anyway, that is what I'm taking with me and I will come back to you. Well, it's quarter past ten, that's us in the car, ready to head off. The sun is shining at the moment, so hopefully it will stay this way. Hey puppies, what do we think? Are we going to get all settled in, all strapped in and ready to go? That over there is the Cowell Peninsula where we are heading. One. We're in the outskirts of the noon. There's some really lighthouse over there. We just stopped to go to the loo. <laughs> and one, uh, when Jack's been to the loo, he's going to take the doggies out. Dad's going to take yous out. And I'll go to the loo since I've not got a fly, so I can't go myself. There's somebody taking pictures of the gents' toilet. I'm assuming it's because the sign's torn off. He's maybe a mystery shopper. There they are. This would have been perfect if I had my fly. I would have been able to go right along with them because the ground's quite firm. There's the beach. You can smell the seaweed. It smells like the seaside. And there's that lighthouse out there. We were actually talking to the guy that had been fo taking photos of the toilets. He wasn't a weirdo. He worked for the council. <laughs> he was just doing checks to make sure that they were all okay. Ah, well, they're going on the beach. Wish I could do things like that with them. 
one of the main times that I get frustrated being in the wheelchair, not being able to go on the beach and things. Our wee beach that's like rocky, Jack can just about get me there, but once I'm there I need to stay still. <laughs> but yeah, to be able to just walk along the beach like that would be fab. If I try that in the wheelchair, I'll just sink. <laughs> Believe me, I've tried it. Jack was telling me that when he was just a wee boy, he used to come to Dunoon all the time on his holidays. It was a real thriving seaside town uh, back then. And he said there were shops everywhere selling rock and buckets and spades and arcades and like a mini Blackpool sort of thing, or Brighton. Um, he said it was brilliant, it was thriving, it was affluent. And it was mainly because there was an American naval base sighted here. And uh, that brought so much money to the area, you know, it was a really expensive place to like buy houses and things like that. Um, but then because when we joined the EU, all the rules and everything changed, so the naval base shut down, the American naval base shut down. And Danun just went downhill from there apparently. And so there's some properties here that are really big, but really inexpensive because of that, because it's just, it's not the place that it used to be and it is quite sad seeing some of the areas um, looking quite just run down and, and not right sad there's stairs along there Jack oh is there stairs there but yeah there you go a wee bit of history hello money money yay <laughs> there's the puppies was that good did you enjoy that yeah Molly can be trusted not to be on a lead, can't you? Not like those nutters. <laughs> Water time for the puppies again. And breakfast time for me. Yay! So we can see our uh, that lighthouse from our house. When the light's on. When the light's on? Yeah. You'll need to show me. So that over there is Butte. So we live in Argyll and Butte. And that's Butte. So, the town that you're looking at, Rothsay. Ah, Rothsay, right, okay. The wee shop. <laughs> Morrison's Daily. There's a lot of them in the villages, aren't there? Mm -hmm. Curdy's Fish and Tackle and Country. Oh, there's Sinbad. It is a pub. <laughs> <laughs> Doing the water. Keel and Glen. I like that. I like their names. The shortbread shop. Ooh. Daisy's den, oh. Well, that was Dunning High Street. <laughs> it's actually quite nice to see so many independent shops, isn't it? So that's the Kyle's of Butte. Wow. It's real nice. In our sails. Hold on tight. I can smell the shore. It's right in front of us if we just hold on tight. This vision that I saw is getting closer every dawn. Now on this boat and we all know 
Marina Restaurant Spa. Oh, wow, they're lovely. So Porta Vadi is basically just this? Yeah. Ah. Sort of like a fucking... It's just the marina and the lodge and the restaurant. It's like a resort. Yeah. I thought it was a village. I suppose it is in a way. Quite nice. Oh, wow. So is that the restaurant in there, do you think? Oh, oh wow! That's the restaurant How lovely! Look at this! Oh yeah! In the summer, I think we'll come here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's my new catchphrase. I want to do everything in the summer. Wow! It's huge, isn't it, the marina? Mm -hmm. And there's boats up here as well. Yep. That's lovely. I like it. <laughs> really? Really? basically come full circle at this point over there is Strone on the Cowell Peninsula where we were looking over here. <laughs> Dreamy, breezy, we go. Well it's five o'clock that is us home just fed the dog. I was just keeping an eye on them but they're finished now. Um, so yeah it was a really good day. The town of Brook was a wee bit underwhelming Jack wasn't it? Um, so yeah, it was quite underwhelming. It was a nice village, but there was nothing really special about it. Maybe in the height of summer, when there's lots going on, it might be different, but yeah, it was nice, though. Um, what? Where it is is lovely. Where it is is lovely, absolutely. Absolutely gorgeous. The cows are beautiful. Um, just so much nice scenery around there. And then we went along to Porta What is it? Is it Porta Vade? I can never, I never know how to pronounce these things. I would say the name Tyne Brook is nicer than the village, to be honest. <laughs> but yeah, we went to Porta Vade. When Jack was talking about it, I thought it was a village, but it's not. It's just like a resort. It's a, it's a marina with um, lodges that you can stay in. It's got leisure facilities and spa. It's got a lovely restaurant. It's got, um, you can take camper vans in as well. And it just looks really, really nice. And again, right at the water, just, well, obviously it's a marina, duh. <laughs> but you know what I mean. Uh, yeah, it would be lovely to stay there. But I've got a lot of things now on my list that I want to do in summer. Hey, eh, Jack? <laughs> Other than the song, like, oh, that's nice. I could do that in the summer. So I want to go to Aaron, because we've been saying we were going to do that for about the last four years. I want to go to Butte now. Um... I would quite like to go to the Porto Vade at some point. Probably not this year though, because I think it's probably out of our price range at the moment. Yeah, at New Year I want to go to what key is it? Florida Keys. No, it's not that well. We'd like to go to Florida Keys. Hunter's Key. Hunter's Key. Um, yeah, that just looked lovely. And I think Brooke would really enjoy that. And it's dog friendly as well, so. We'll wait and see what the pennies are like. Anyway, I'm going to head off now. I'm going to go make my dinner. Uh, thankfully, I made extra last night. 
because I knew we were going out, so I just need to heat that up. So I'm going to go and have that, and uh, I'm going to head off. So I hope you've enjoyed this vlog. If so, please do hit the thumbs up button. Talk to me in the comments below. Subscribe if you haven't already, please, and I'll see you in our next one. Thanks, everyone. Bye!